Hi friends, it's Sam, and today I'm gonna show you how to make my vegan spinach and artichoke dip. Ooh, so delicious, so cheesy, so amazing, you won't even know it's vegan. But by the way, vegan food tastes really good, so like, psh. This dip is so cheesy, wheezy, creamy, dreamy, all sorts of amazing uh, flavor descriptions. Uh. <laughs> But one of my favorite parts about it is it's actually pretty darn healthy for you. Traditional spinach and artichoke dip is incredibly bad for you, but you'll see that this recipe is actually made from pretty much all whole foods, super good for you, and uh, yeah, it tastes like comfort food heaven. Now I have two versions of this recipe, one on my blog and one in my cookbook. Both are fantastic, they're only slightly different. Today I'm gonna make the one on my blog just so everyone watching this video has access to the full recipe. Okay, let's get started. Let's get to making my vegan spinach and artichoke dip. Well, that was a lousy snap. Yeah! Now the first thing you're gonna need to make this recipe is my ooey gooey stretchy melty vegan mozzarella recipe. Now I've already made a video to show you how to make that mozzarella so I'll link it up here and one down there as well if you want to check that out. It only takes 15 minutes to make from start to finish and if you want to have the mozzarella already made you can just make it ahead of time, store it in an airtight container in the fridge and it'll be good to go whenever you want to make your vegan spinach and artichoke dip. Now the other ingredients we're gonna need is a yellow onion, three cloves of garlic, about 12 artichoke hearts, some salt and pepper, a little non-dairy milk, and of course spinach. That's it. It's pretty simple. So I'm gonna prep all these ingredients and I'll see you in a minute. Why is it so hard to open? Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Did it. So I've chopped my artichokes, onions, and garlic. For the artichokes, I want to still have lots of that artichoke delicious texture in this artichoke dip. So I chopped them up a little bit, but not too much. I left them with a lot of nice texture so that they will have delicious bites throughout this dip. But for the onions and garlic, I made sure to chop them both very fine because I want to make sure they cook in the oven. So now I just gotta grab myself a baking dish. Now you can use any heat safe baking dish. Today I'm using a cast iron skillet because I love that look. But if you want to use some sort of beautiful dish, you're welcome to do that. As long as it is oven friendly, you'll be good to go. So now we just gotta add everything to our pan or our baking dish. So I've got my double batch of the melty, stretchy, gooey, vegan mozzarella and just add this straight into the pan. Yeah, cheesy, do you see that action? So amazing. And to that I'm gonna add my minced garlic, my very finely chopped onion, beautiful, the artichoke hearts. <laughs> Why am I always bad at opening packages? All right, two big handfuls of fresh baby spinach, or you could use about two cups of frozen spinach. It might look like a lot right now, but I assure you it's gonna cook down and be delicious. I mean, I'm gonna I'll do that. Half a cup of your favorite non-dairy milk. Today I'm using a homemade almond milk. Oh, spill a little. Classy. About a quarter teaspoon of salt and a little pinch of pepper, so just about an eighth of a teaspoon. And now mix that together a little bit. It's not really gonna come together at this point and it's gonna look like a weird, lumpy mess, but don't worry, it'll become friends in the oven and that's where it matters. Look at this weird, lumpy mess. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take my weird, lumpy mess of my spinach and artichoke dip and I'm gonna pop it in my oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes and I'm gonna stop halfway through to stir it and all of this stuff will incorporate a lot better. If at any point it starts getting too thick, I can always add an extra splash of non-dairy milk as needed. Now optionally you can choose to brown the top of the spinach and artichoke dip which just makes it look a little bit more pretty. So to do that, once it's finished cooking, just crank your oven to broil and broil the top for about three minutes. But make sure to keep a very close eye on it because it'll burn quickly. It's browning. 
and it has been brown. Time to take it out of the oven. Ooh, so very hot. Be very careful because this is going to be on fire. Well, maybe not fire, but the pan or the baking dish or the skillet or whatever you use is probably going to be really, really hot from being in the oven, so just make sure to be very careful. But here is my bubbling brown spinach and artichoke dip, totally vegan. How amazing does that look? And when your dip is ready, you can serve it with whatever you like. You bread, chips, veggies, anything you want. Today I have some sliced baguette here, which I warmed up in the oven a little bit. Oof, falling off. Come on, class. So my favorite part, let's give it a taste test. Oh yeah. Oh, do you see that? So good. It's really hot. This may take a minute. Burning my mouth, but aside from that, so good. Mm. One of the great things is that you can have all of this together, ready in the baking dish, ready to go, and then when your company comes over, pop it in the oven, just giving it a stir every now and then, and uh, put it out nice and hot and fresh. Delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's some good stuff right there. Mm. So creamy, dreamy, cheesy, amazing. Tastes just like traditional spinach and artichoke dip, but vegan and like actually pretty good for you. So that's pretty amazing, I love it. Now as always, I'll pop a link to the full recipe down below in the description and one up here as well so you don't have to worry about writing down any of these ingredients. I hope you like this video and if you do, let me know by leaving a like and don't forget to subscribe for a brand shiny new fuss free vegan video every single Wednesday. If you give this recipe a try or if you've already tried it, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. I'll see you next week. Bon appétit, Gun! <laughs>